Welcome to the Azure AI language learning video series. In this video, you will learn how to automate your data labeling in conversational language understanding using the suggest utterances feature powered by Azure OpenAI. For example, Contoso is a telecommunications company that is trying to build a chat bot for customers to ask common questions about their bills, their usage, or to request reaching out to a human representative. To save time and effort, Contoso will use Azure OpenAI to build a data set to train their custom conversational model. With Azure AI, you can create a bot with ample training data quickly and easily. Conversational language understanding, or CLU, helps users to build custom natural language understanding models to predict overall intention of an incoming utterance and extract important information from it. I'm going to log in to the Azure AI Language Studio to create a CLU project with my Azure subscription and a language resource. Now that I've created a project, I'm going to define my schema by creating the intents for my scenario. In this case, I've created intents called billing, phone usage, and representative. A none of the above or none intent is automatically created for utterances that don't fall into any of my intent categories. It's now time for me to add and label data to train my model on utterances that fit into each intent. On the left toolbar, I'm going to click the data labeling tab to start adding labels to the utterances. Let's start with the data for the billing intent. I've included some utterances that I expect my users may use to access their billing information, and now I'll add a few more. Data labeling is an important step because machine learning models generalize predictions based on the labeled examples that we provide it. The more examples we provide, the more data points the model has to make better generalizations. To get more examples, we can use Azure OpenAI to suggest utterances to add to your project using OpenAI models. I'm going to select the Suggest Utterances button and a pane will open up on the right side, prompting me to select my Azure OpenAI resource and a deployment. Upon selection of an Azure OpenAI resource, I can select Connect to my Azure OpenAI resource to get started. I'm going to select billing as the intent I want suggestions for and click generate utterances. Now that this is complete, the suggested utterances will show up with a dotted line around it and the note AI suggested utterance. I can choose to accept or reject the utterances that were generated by AOAI. I can repeat these steps for my other utterances as well before I train, test, and deploy my model. And that's it. We've shown how we can use Azure AI language service with Azure OpenAI models to create a high quality custom model for our chatbot quickly to accelerate time to value by labeling unstructured text data. To try it out, go to aka.ms slash language hyphen studio. To learn more about this capability, go to aka.ms slash azure language.